Hi friends, Father Scott again. Our gospel reading for today takes place after Jesus has fed the 5,000 people with uh, five loaves and a few fish. And a crowd uh, tracks Jesus down again and uh, gathers. And Jesus perceives that they've come to him not because they've seen in him that a sign that God is present in a special way in him, but they've come hoping to have their stomachs filled again. And he challenges them to uh, seek not just the bread that will get them through another day, but to seek the bread that leads to eternal life, to have faith in Jesus, faith in him. That is the way that will lead to true life. I think we all need to ask ourselves, um, why are we following Jesus? Are we following the Lord because we hope to get from him the things that we want? Are we following him uh, just to get ahead in this life, uh, to make sure that our current needs are met? Or are we following him because he is who he said he was? Because he is the son of God who is worthy of all praise, whether or not I get what I want from him. You know, sometimes maybe, maybe that's a, a lesson that we can learn from the time that we're in right now. You know, and it is a lesson that comes to us in all hard times. The lesson that... God may not always give us what we want, but ultimately he always gives us what we need the most, and that is himself. He always gives us the gift of his love, his concern, and his strength to go through any situation that we might face. And that is enough. And that will ultimately lead us into eternal life. That is the gift that uh, enables us to face any circumstance that we might come across. It's the faith that sustained St. Sustained Stephen in our first reading for today when he's arrested for his proclamation of the gospel and allows him to have the courage to continue to proclaim the gospel in the face of persecution. It's the faith that will sustain us uh, in this time, and in all of the hard times that we face in life. Ultimately, the gift that we need most from God is that gift of himself. May we receive that gift gratefully and with hearts that are open to um, all that that gift means for us. Hearts that are open to uh, face trial and testing and the gift that is faith, the faith that sustains us. God bless you, and I'll be talking to you again soon.